Hello, everybody. Welcome to Christ Our Light Scripture and Reflection. Today is February 14th, 2023. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there. Today is also the ordination of our new bishop for the Diocese of St. Cloud, Bishop Patrick Neary. Today we begin with prayer as we pray today for St. Cyril and Methodosius. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers St. Cyril and Methodosius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When the Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth, and how no desire that his heart conceived was ever anything but evil, he regretted that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was grieved. So the Lord said, I will wipe out from the earth the men whom I have created, and not only the men, but also the beasts, and the creeping things, and the birds of the air, for I am sorry that I made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. Then the Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for you alone in this age have I found to be truly just. Of every clean animal take with you seven pairs, a male and its mate, and of the unclean animals one pair, a male and its mate. Likewise of every clean bird of the air seven pairs, a male and a female, and of all the unclean birds one pair, a male and a female. Thus you will keep their issue alive over all the earth. Seven days from now, I will bring rain down on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and so I will wipe out from the surface of the earth every moving creature that I have made. Noah did just as the Lord had commanded him. As soon as the seven days were over, the waters of the flood came upon the earth. The Word of the Lord. The response, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. Jesus enjoined them, Watch out, guard against the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod. They concluded among themselves, that it was because they had no bread. When he became aware of this, he said to them, Why do you conclude that it is because you have no bread? Do you not yet understand or comprehend? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and not see, ears and not hear? And do you not remember when I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many wicker baskets full of fragments you picked up? They answered him, Twelve. When I broke the seven loaves for the four thousand, how many full baskets of fragments did you pick up? They answered him, Seven. He said to them, Do you still not understand? The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, the following reflection is taken from Living Faith. It's entitled The Leaven of Love. It's written by Claire McGarry. She writes, In today's first reading, God's heart was grieved. 
Although humanity was conceived in that very same heart of God, sin and wickedness abounded on the earth. I am crushed when my kids disobey me. I can't imagine the anguish God felt when he looked upon what he'd so lovingly created and saw such evil. It must have filled him with regret. But then God saw Noah. Despite all, God chose to focus on Noah's heart, and it expanded his. In today's gospel, Jesus cautions the disciples about leaven. It expands dough when added to bread. I believe his point is that whatever we put into our hearts will also expand, be it evil or love. As we celebrate Valentine's Day, may we adopt God's gaze of love, cutting through the discord, evil, and wickedness of our world, so that we see straight into the people's hearts. And may we be the ones to help put our love into those hearts so that they expand and grow for God's glory. Let us pray. Increase your love within us, O Lord, that by the saving mysteries you have created here, we celebrate them in our lives and bring people everywhere to respect your gift of human life. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.